this time on Breaking Waves. I honestly didn't think there was any chance I was going to put an offer in on it. <laughs> You're nervous? I didn't know anything about boats. <laughs> I just made a financial commitment. <laughs> Ben and I get an accepted offer on our boat and start the process of closing the deal. Water in the fuel is not a good thing for no. diesel. No. I'm not one to usually talk about the universe and all that, but um, it just feels like it was really meant to be. down in Ana Cortez, it's just me right now, and um, I just slept in the truck last night, got here pretty late at like midnight, and I'm going to go survey and see Trial Kiana. Uh, it's rainy and it's windy and it's going to be a good day to put the boat through her paces and um, you know, see what breaks. <laughs> it's been sitting on the hard for a few years, so um, yeah, I'm glad I have a, a bit of weather here for the sea trial day. So let's go do it. And so if you change that, the first thing I would do is actually fill that, you know, pretty full. So water tank supply valves are there. Oh, is this, this is a common rail? These guys here? Yeah. These valves work where? So what we did when we put strips up. So just an update here, um, there was some water found in the fuel line to the engine, in the filter, um, which isn't a really big deal if it's caught before it goes into the actual engine, but... But what it can do is it can damage the injectors mm -hmm. the fuel, yep. uh, and water in the fuel is not a good thing for no. diesel. No. So... So a little bit of disappointing news, uh, the water in the filter ended up being water in the tank, we're pretty sure. 10 inches of fuel in the starboard tank, okay. 7 inches in the port tank, okay. but again, I don't know how much of that might be. How much of it is water? Um, the good news is that the engine fired up really strong three times. Um, the mechanic was really impressed. Man, that's a happy engine. Yeah? It sounded real nice. So that's great, and we did catch the water before it got into the system. Um, but now we're not going to be able to get the water out of the tank and polished until uh, next week sometime or the week after that, so everything just got pushed out. We're going to wrap up what we can today, and then uh, the survey is going to complete on the 29th, which is in about a week. Um, and then I'm going to come down the week after that to do the sea trial and, and take the boat. I'm assuming everything goes okay. So a little disappointed in that, but you know, that's the purpose of doing a, a survey. So the S-Bar furnace didn't fire up. The refrigeration didn't chill. Uh, there's a ground cable on the engine that's uh, corroding. What you need to do in there is just run a new bead of caulking around the inside. You need to fix the Raycor water and fuel alarm. Basically, you need new rear engine mounts. Short power inlet, overheated. Mm -hmm. You need to replace the electrical insert. Yeah. That's enough, right? It's plenty. Keep Okay, so that wraps up the survey today. Um, we didn't do a sea trial because of the whole water in the fuel line issue. Uh, that's going to get dealt with next week. They're going to clean out all the tanks and polish them. Um, and then we can do a sea trial after that. But the engine does sound great, so I'm not too concerned about it. Just got to figure out what's causing the leak. Um, and yeah, otherwise, you know, for a 30-year-old boat, there's tons of little issues that have come up that, you know, that's just expected. Um, there's all sorts of like little wiring jobs and things that need to get updated and um, all sorts of little projects, but I'm pretty excited and that's it. Yeah, I gotta get back to back home. Two weeks later, Ben and I headed back to Anacortes to complete the sea trial and test Kiana out for the first time on the water. If all went well, we could bring her home. We are going to do our sea trial <laughs> to make sure the boat actually floats and works and then hopefully sailing it away. And I've actually never seen Kiana in the water since this whole thing, so I have butterflies. I'm nervous. Ah! <laughs> what have we done? <laughs>
This is my home and it floats. And I can easily drive it into another home that also floats. <laughs> on breaking waves. We are tossing off the dock lines, flying the coop. Allie doesn't know this right now, but I'm kind of terrified. Okay, stop. We're going up. Ben and I set sail on our journey back to Canada on our brand new boat. Tell them how you really felt. I'm scared shitless. <laughs> 